Hi y'all, so I'm just rinsing out the cotton yarn. This stuff here I've already washed through twice. But cotton yarn doesn't exhaust dye like wool does. So there's always loads to wash out. Um, so if you're watching it, you get a sneak peek of the colours. <laughs> um, no cheating and then putting it on the um, threads to say that you guessed it, but I'm happy you've seen it. <laughs> but I think we're getting there. It's slowly washing out. But yeah, you have to do several washes with the cotton, so it's hard work. So I thought I'd just do a little video and say hi. I'm just getting this all done. It won't be a short because I'm not going to get this done in 60 seconds. Um, but what are you all up to today? I'm possibly going to go live later on today because um, Duncan's in work in London for the day. Um, Kurt's upstairs at the moment, but he will be at work himself later. And Mally is at um, college for the day. So it's just me all on my lonesome. So I thought I might go live and um, have a chat with you all. Um, I'm hoping to be able to go live on multiple platforms, but I'm going to have to see how my computer skills are to see if I can work out how to do that. <laughs> Um, because I'm not 100% sure yet how we do that, so we'll see. But I'll be alive on something, probably YouTube, if I can't do it in cows. YouTube's a definite. Um, but if I can work out how to do all my other socials simultaneously, I will do them simultaneously. I don't know what I'll do on the live. I'll probably be rescaining up the yarn I dyed yesterday, because that's now dry and ready to be reskained, um, whereas this will not be dry until at least tomorrow because it's cotton. I use heated racks, so it usually dries, you know, overnight or 24 hours, give or take, yeah. Um, but the cost of electric and things at the moment, I won't be able to continue using heated racks for long because bills are getting extortionate. This is why I always reskein them because you can see they get a little twisted in the washing and thing on me. So I always reskein my yarn so they're nice and neat and there's no knots or anything when um you come to buy them and cake them up. There's nothing worse than having to untangle your yarn before you've even started. So I reskein every skein that I wash. Um it takes a little longer, but it does mean that um you're gonna have Less hassle with it when you're done. That water is still very colour, so it's going to need at least one more wash. I hope this running noise isn't too much for you. Uh, I'll keep going and get it all done. It's not three minutes. I don't know what the limit is on places like TikTok, so I don't know if this could be able to go off on there. But it will be able to go on the YouTube channel, obviously, because no time limit on that. <laughs> If you can even hear me over this water running. I'm in my garage, which is all doing. That's why I dye my yarn in my garage. Um, nothing gets done in the kitchen because obviously it's acid dye yarn or in this case soda ash for the yarn because it's cotton. Um, I still got another whole bunch over there to wash. This is just the uh, Pima cotton, Pima cotton, P I M A. I don't know how you pronounce it. But it's it's good cotton um, and this is the white base so we've got some really lovely colours showing up on this one. The last lot I did um, the colours didn't come out quite as bright as I would like uh, so I put more dye in it this time and I think from the looks of it it's actually done a pretty good job but we'll see when we dry it um, if it's still just as bright. Um, I have a, another puppy here so I'm putting it in if you're wondering. Um, but I have two more red buckets over there. Um, I don't think you can see from this angle, no. But there's two more red buckets. Um, you could sort of just see one of them here. Um, and they've got the organic cotton and linen in, which is not a white base. So um, it's a very different colour. Even though it's the same colours as these, it's very um, different results. And so I will wash them in a minute 
Um, this is definitely going to be a longer video, so definitely not sure how much of it will go up on Insta and TikTok and things. I'll probably maybe do a cut down version of it or something. Um, but it's starting to ring out a little clearer. I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely much clearer. So we're getting there. So I think I can do just rinse, no actual washing liquid for the next lot. I'm still using my wool wash because I use it for all my hand dyed wool and I didn't see the point of getting something different from a cotton so I'm just using the wool wash and it seems to work fine. Um, the colours, excuse me, sorry, the colours still come out lovely and the yarn or cotton still feels lovely. Yeah, it's definitely coming out clear. It's not 100% clear but close enough that I should be able to just rinse at this point to get the remaining colour out. Some of the green seeped along the yarn is in mixed in with my yellow, which I expected, so it's a nice transition between them both. And then the green seeped into the blue, which is what I wanted. So it just makes it kind of like it's not quite a fade, but it's definitely no harsh change lines, which is what I wanted. Um, I'm actually going to be doing this, the rinsing I'm going to rinse under the running water so you probably won't hear me about that so I'm going to end the video here and maybe I'll record me doing the other yarn so you can have a look at them so probably see you in a bit, bye! Hi, back again, so I've got the next lot of yarn in the thing for the first wash, you can see how much dye runs out of the water. I think this is why they have to be washed so much. So this one isn't on a white base, so the colours are more muted. Um, don't know if you can see the base. It's because of the linen, I think it is. It's um, a very dusky brown base. Um, so all the colours come out muted but looking at this they've actually not come out too bad they've still come out reasonably solid in colour but we'll see once we've finished washing them um, just what colour they really come out and then once they're dry we'll bring them because they're always darker when wet obviously um, as you can probably tell this is very, very water dyed thing on me, if you can see that. It's, so this is why we will do multiple washes and I only give a quick one for each time because the water gets dirty really fast. It's actually got a little tangled. We will have to angle, untangle that one. I'll try to do it in a second. But I don't know if you can see the colour of the water there. Run some more water, so loud noises again, I'm afraid. as hot as I can handle because I read somewhere that hot water um, like really hot water actually helps the dye stick to the cotton better when rinsing out I don't know but it seems to work you know so don't knock it <laughs> so I'll just pop them all back in again and then go for it again very tedious, very boring, <laughs> a lot of strain on my arms, um, I have to rinse out the thing I'm putting it in each time, that's catch 
because all the dye in it and obviously as I'm rinsing out I don't want to be putting them back into a dirty bowl because that could be silly. Yeah, the colour is definitely more muted. If you look at it compared to the other one, you can see how much more muted the colour is. Um, but I still quite like it. Uh, there may be people who doesn't like quite so bright, so this is a good compromise for them. Um, I wish there was a way to get neon in cotton, but so far I haven't found anywhere that does neon yarns for uh, neon dyes for cotton yarn only wool and i do love my neon um it's kind of my signature for my yarn is neon <laughs> a lot of my yarns have neon in it not all of them are obvious some are a secret pop i got a lovely pink and gray yarn that i've dyed it looks really pretty as a pink and gray pink and gray but if you put it under black light that pink pops and it's so cool um, and that's not the pink and grey yarn that I dyed recently that you've seen. That's a very obvious neon pink. Now this is, looks like more subtle pink um, because I over dyed the neon pink with the grey and it toned down that neon. Um, but under black light it's still just as poppy and I like it. I like my secret pops. These are still pretty dirty, I don't know if you can tell there. So we need at least one more wash. Where's my tag? There it is. You can see why I always reskein the yarns because they do get in quite a tangle. Um, not always a big tangle, sometimes more than the others. Sometimes it flicks over that and then it twists and I just have to kind of we flick it back, see? And that's a little better. We're getting there. There we go. I try to stop doing that as often as possible, but um, there's the, always an odd occasion I end up twisting it over when I pick it up. But I've never had one that I can't untwist. <laughs> Time for another wash, because that water is still pretty filthy. What about you? <laughs> I've still got a bunch of yarn to dye and um, I've still got more merino and silk to dye and um, two more stains each of these cottons to dye as well um, but I might go with a solid colour for that rather than I think I'll just get some solid colour cottons but I don't know what colours to go I'm getting a little low on dyes so I'll have to see what dyes I've got left. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> I'll have to see what dyes I've got left um, to dye a couple of solid colours for this um, cotton. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what colours to go. Problem is, I like really bright colours, but I'm aware not everyone does. So I've just done a bunch of navy and grey over dye. They were the colours that there were before were yellows, blues, and greens. Um, not like this, uh, variegated um, and hints of red and things in them um, but they didn't get much interest so I've over dyed them with the navy and grey um, and they look amazing I'm going to reskein them later I'll probably reskein them on the live um, and I just think the colours look so good I'm really happy with them and it will give me some darker colours because there's something a lot of people ask for blacks and blues when I'm doing my stalls. Um, and I sold out of all my obsidian. I sold an obsidian every single time I've done a stall so I want none left. Problem is I'm out of black dye so I can't do another obsidian which was reds, purples and violets um, over dyed in black. Um, I do like the technique of the over dyeing because you always get that lovely dark rich colour but 
peeks through all these other colours. So in the sunlight, you're just getting hints of other colours and it just looks so pretty. I think this is almost ready to be rinsed out on its own. I'm getting there. I think one more wash should do the job and then I'll rinse it. It's definitely getting lighter. <laughs> but yeah, I think the colours come out alright, so I'm happy with that. I mean, what do you think? And again, it will be lighter once it's dried because obviously wet yarn is darker um but i'm really happy with the way the colors have come out for these um i had a yarn in mind when i was doing these um on the craft group that i run on monday nights there's a lady on there um, who comes and she does these amazing blankets and she's doing this blanket well she's finished it now but she was doing this blanket that she's designing the pattern for and it's gorgeous but she was using this lovely blue green yellow yarn cotton yarn and it was just so pretty i wanted to try to see if i could recreate something similar and i think i've done an okay job it's not identical obviously um but i think i've got the colors quite nicely um so i'll take these in and show her them uh once they're dry so next monday they'll be definitely ready whether I've actually got around to labelling them would be a different matter. I hadn't labelled the last lot I took in on Monday to show them. Because um, I've been a little lazy when it comes to labelling. The first stall of the year isn't until the 26th. So I've got until then to label that. So, you know, no new real So I'm going to make this the last one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I will show all these later because this is 10 minutes uh, with the other one which has got at least to 5 minutes, hasn't it? Hold the hand if I touch my phone. Um, so this is definitely going to be a longer video. <laughs> so I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye.